Hello, yo, it's your host, Ro. Welcome back to Love of Games. We're going to continue our Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom playthrough today, so I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. So make sure you think in the comment section down below. And uh, we're going to hop right back in. So we are in... What do they call this? The Stilled Sutherland Forest. We're in like the red. This is the still one. Everything you see floating around here was sucked in through a rip. Anything that ends up here will begin to break apart and eventually vanish completely. Me and my friends have the ability to restore things that have ended up in rifts, though. Speaking of, I could sense my friends deeper in here. Go, Zelda. And jump. does whatever it wants on its own. I don't like that. Yeah, don't do that. Or that. Or that. Come on, When people get pulled on the wrist, they kind of petrify and they can't move anymore. If they say that way, they eventually fade away. That won't happen to you, Zelda. You're special. Minister Lund. We got Nectar. Yeah. 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 
didn't have to respawn the monster, which is good. Did not want to have to fight again, we're already hurt. All that for five rupees. I could restore her back to normal if you this room. I guess that was the other one that I got sucked up earlier. This is where you were trapped not long ago. We're getting closer to my friends. They're farther in, but we're getting there. Entrance. Entrance. Play plan is recorded, you know, warfare using the map. Yeah. Pretty big rock, huh? You know, when I'm fixing rifts, I have to move a lot of things around. That my ability to do that would come in handy for you. If you want to guide me at the rod, I can move things for you based on your movement. Try facing the boulder and press the X. Bound together. Okay, now try moving. Use X to guide, try, move objects. Yeah. way to go first. Go down. We should have did that other room first. We'll go back. Yep. Yep. Jump. Come 
down. We had to get you eventually. We got butter. See, we could have missed out on butter if I didn't look at that map. No one wants to miss out on butter. Moblin the most of the creatures we've gotten so far. Takes me back down to here. Lead me over to here. This doesn't look like really good yet. Do those. Oh. 
I have to keep break. Hey, checkpoint. Oh, while we're here, have we missed... We got one room down there, we missed a bunch of chests over there. Person who fought the blue monster. I have a feeling that's not late.
sweet. That was intense. You look like the guy who helped you before, but that this one wanted to hurt you. He was weird, like an imposter is back at the castle. Looks like he left something behind. You got the mysterious sword. It's a weapon. The swordsman in green tuna cap. The name Link is engraved on it. Powerful energy coming from the sword, even more powerful than the large rift. Yeah, that sword has a special kind of power. We'll check out its special power. Strange, like the guy who wears green. Raise your sword with D-pad up, sword fighter form. Once transforms, you can attack with Y. While transforms, defend yourself by pressing and holding ZL. You can also jump higher than normal in this form of B. Finally, Y to charge your sword and sword and release it this way. On sword fighter form, the energy gauge in the upper left corner of the screen will decrease. You'll automatically exit sword fighter form when the energy is depleted. You can also exit by pressing up on the D-pad. You must refill your energy. Yeah. Energy? Yes, energy. Full of hearts. Full of mobile hearts. Right. Into the dungeon we go. Won't fall off. Very different variety for benefits, equipped on the Well, we are the love it, so let us love it. Recorded. Let's look at that. So there's a section back here we didn't go to. There's a ways back. The section over here we didn't go to. We're gonna see which what way is the easiest way to get one of the areas we haven't gone. Ah, let's just go to the left and then we can come back around.
pick it up. You got the Duke of Bob Ecker. These go in a one way room. Go over here first. Left is just the bestest. Oh my goodness, man. Zelda. There's one more thing you can do when using bind. After binding yourself to something with X, try holding R. While holding R, your movements will follow what you're bound to. Reverse bond. Oh! <laughs> 
First bond bind or whatever is very odd. could go fight the boss, but there's some areas here that we have not visited. I want to see what's in them. That takes me out here. We're gonna work over here. Let's be a little bit of backtracking. I didn't see an area that we missed, but it looks like there is one. I want to see what is what. goes up. Yep. Oh, is it just different sub-levels of the same level? I think so. Okay. 
So then there's nothing to do there. I thought it was section whole section of the map I missed. But he's here. I definitely sensed my friends in this spot earlier. They're in that creature. We've got to get them out of here. Come on, we can do this. These are my friends. We set them free. They fi are filled with energy and ready to get to work. So now we could finally fix the rift here. Using our echo ability, we could restore the entire area that was swallowed up by the rift. Watch this. Friend shares some of their power with me. I feel like I could do even more now. I gained a piece. That's why I create all sorts of echoes. But yeah, they also told me some while we were fixing the rift. They said that a big rock monster showed up and captured them. So they weren't able to fix the rift because they were all trapped in the monster. Oh, and one other thing. There are crystals that show up when we fix rifts. They're neat, so I'll give them to you. You got five unusual crystals from Tribe. I'm all finished up here, so we can head now if you're ready. I think we can leave from that spot. You got a heart container. Your maximum number of hearts has increased, and they have been filled. 
Sweet. Sweet jumble. Alright, like, let's go. We can travel between the still world and your world here. You want to return? Yes. Hey, let's go. Bert was here it is gone now. It means we could reach the place where we were trying to go earlier. If we keep this up, we'll be able to fix all the rest and be able to save your father. Yeah. You there, a moment of your time. Uh. I'm Lefty, the Minister of Hyrule. Pardon the intrusion. Can you tell me where we are? Uh. Oh, Princess Zelda. I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't recognize you in that club. Or er, why are you wearing that? We failed to save you from the beast, and now you're out. You're facing much danger. Mm. Must confess, I'm surprised to hear of your abilities. And your friend Tri accompanied you this whole time? Yeah. Thank you so much, Tri. You can see me. Eh? Who can miss you? You're floating right there, and aren't you precious? I thought only Zelda could see me. Mm -hmm. Oh, so Lady Impa couldn't see you? How odd. Eh? Please aside, I'm worried about you. His Majesty and the General. We need to make a plan. There's much to consider, but for now, let's head to the location Lady Impa told you about. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Would you mind showing me your map? It's a map. It's a map. Mm. If I recall correctly. Huh? Yes, this is the place. That's where Lady Impa's brother lives. Makes sense she'd send you. Hi. I'll lead the way. Follow me. I'm go this way. Bring your princess, let's travel together, shall we? Looking for any bit of money. Ain't easy being a princess. Father's all captured, you don't have access to your vast royal fortunes of Hyrule. What you gonna do? Right here, princess. <laughs> Look. Hello, sir. Pardon us. My name is Lefty. Lady Impa is my colleague, and... Huh? it's not, I'm a very busy man. No time to chatter. Now get. <gasps> Apologize for the unannounced visit, but... Please, it will only be a moment. Huh? No, no, no. I'm about to leave. Come back later. Uh you could just hear us out, it said no. I've got to go save Link. Huh, hang on there. It's Link's cloak. Why do you have it? Did you see it? Well... What? Okay, tell me everything. Tell me about the rifts and anything you know about this one. understand the situation now. Thanks for the explanation. Princess. Dude, we finally got through to him. Alright, this has been bugging me ever since we barged in here. What is that floaty thing? Oh, you can see me too. That's strange. Zilla's always been able to, but now you both can as well. You're telling me the only ones who can see you? The thought. Indeed, such fasting. And might I might have a dwarfed creature. Yeah, yeah, sure. Back to the matter at hand. What is it that you and I have in common? We both ended up in rifts and lived to tell the tale. Seems the rifts change people somehow. Ooh. Oh yeah, I guess I should introduce myself. The name's Blueberry. I'm Empa's older brother. The swordsman who saved you is Link. I made his weapons, the Sword of Might. Mm. Mr. Blueberry, why did you make him a sword? Mm. Princess, remember that big nasty blue fellow who captured you? The sword was for taking him out. Yeah, I spent my time researching Hyrule's history and its rifts. For ages now, rifts have appeared, and sometimes folk have ended up in them. It was unfortunate enough to be pulled into a rift, banished without a trace. After which, town folk would say have been stolen away. Anyhow, Link made it his mission to fight the monsters that come falling out of the rifts. 
He's also trying to prevent folks from going missing, and I've been helping as I'm able to. Which is why I made him a sword, one that's effective against rift monsters. The Sword of Might. Princess Zelda is wielding that very one I'd hope would be of use to Link. The Link was helping you out with rift as well. Plenty of monsters come out of the rift, but that blue one was particularly powerful. We got a hunch that if we take him out, it'll fix the whole people disappearing business. Princess, you sure that Link managed to take the blue guy out? And yet the rifts keep coming. So they, clearly, we are missing something. The rift in the forest is gone. The Link's not back. What we need is more information. I may have something useful. When I was taken him by the rift in Hyrule Castle, it felt like I was flown somewhere far away. The rift I was pulled into was at Hyrule Castle, but Princess Zelda found me in a rift in the forest. So how'd I end up over there? Rifts don't follow the same rules as your world. Things connect differently inside them. My friends have mentioned something about oversized rifts in other areas. We might end up finding the king and other missing people in the far off rift. Maybe Link is somewhere else. Then. Hey Zelda, I'm gonna fly up high to look for some other big rift. I think I found some. There's no saying where Zelda's father and others might be. I did spot some big rifts we can go explore. Alright. Mark them on your map, Zelda. If we fix the rifts, we may be able to save your father and others. Let's get to work, Zelda. Come to Zelda, I must insist that you refrain from going to any more rifts. It's far too dangerous. To her to decide, Minister. I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rift. During this time of crisis in Hyrule, we must all play our parts, Princess Zelda included. <laughs> you make a salient point, Mr. Blueberry. Oh. Princess, I urge you to go with Tri to the other rift. You're the only one who could fix them and save all the people who have gone missing. Minister, you stay here and help me investigate the rift. We'll play support for the princess. Hi. Of course, investigations are my specialty. Princess, the rifts marked by Tri are located in the Gerudo Desert and Jabu waters. Please let me know if you require any further information. Alright, Princess, I'll leave it to you to find the King, General Wright, and Link. Yeah, I almost forgot. That sword you got there? Pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than it is. I'll have to do a research on it, though, so talk to me later if you're interested. What do you got down here? Searching for everyone. Blueberry's Diary. The crystal I unearthed at the rift site, what I'm now calling a mite crystal. Mite crystal has strange powers. The monsters that spring from the rift seem to be repelled by it. If I can get enough of that, I still stern monsters would be powerful against the rift monsters. At any rate, late nights of research, I've developed a technology that can refine the crystals. From there, I should be able to create a weapon for the crystals as well as enhance that weapon. So I'm now pondering what type of Weapon I should make, test with. Nearly attacked by a monster in the forest when a young man named Link rescued me. Folks in Southern Village telling Link was amongst the group of kids that were stolen away. These kids made it back somehow, though. Remarkable. All the kids were taken by the rest have lost something. For Link, he lost his ability to speak. Despite all that they've been through, he fights to keep others safe. His bravery was moved to me deeply. Then it hit me. The young man might be the best person to entrust the Sword of Might to. I do believe I can support him through his efforts tomorrow. I'll visit Southern Village again. The Sword of Might I entrusted a link packed a wall up against those rift monsters as I hoped, but it doesn't seem to be enough for the blue monster, who we believe is creating the rifts. It is a fearsome monster indeed. I suspect the sword is not yet powerful enough to defeat him. However, I should be able to further enhance the sword, so I must gather more mic crystals. Link stopped by on his way home from his travel. He likes the hood I gave him the other day. I cannot speak. His feelings come through as clear as day. I decided to make a new weapon. I must keep doing what I can to help Link. Link stopped by. He's off for the blue monster once and for all. It seemed to be in a huge rush, but I couldn't figure out why. The Sword of Might has been forged as best as I am able to. I gave him some other weapons, too. He can't help but worry. Please stay safe and return to us, Link.
Bye. Thank you, yeah. Ah, nothing else. Thank you. I'm gonna chat about your sword as I mentioned, sword of my craftsmanship. For now, I've been researching this type of crystal that sometimes left behind from the wrist. And my discoveries are found that it is highly effective against rift monsters. Aha, and it appears he has some blue crystal with you. I need to call it Mike Crystal. In fact, I forged a sword of might from it. During my investigations in the rift, I met Link, who's from Southorn Village. I made the sword for him, the rest is history. Link made good use of the sword, meanwhile, I continue forging things with Mike Crystals. The machine in the corner, I designed it to enhance the sword. Can't have the sword, it's probably lost some of its power. But once we enhance it, it'll be back to its original state. Give it a try. All you need to do is bring some light like, crystals. Alright. What do you want to enhance? Energy. You need five. You got five. Sure, leave it to me. We've got the energy gauge is now level two. What do you want to enhance? Yeah. Take that. Alright. So we are now back and free. I want to go check out the temple now that it's not in a rift. See if anything's changed. Because we were in a rift last time. I guess there's nothing really here. Uh, now we know. Get him. There's a warp point right here, we just had to walk a few more feet over. Alright. Wave point has been recorded, you can now warp here using the map. One of Princess Zelda decided to send a word to the king. This is what maybe was taking.
Get off me, dude. buddy. some sort of like platform or something. We are just a little too long. Here, help fight them for me, please. Hey, literally, just killed them all a minute ago. Well, these mob ones are in here, too. Saving day is always the heroic, huh? You're not me. Sorry about that, but the hood had me thinking you're someone else. Please forgive my confusion. My name is Burley. I'm a resident of Southern Village. Set out to chop grass in the village and I knew I chop my way up to the Southern Prairie. While I was here, I figured I might as well get rid of the shrubs. Make a little plot for myself. So the monsters appeared and well, you know the rest. There's a lesson here. You should never get too absorbed in your work. I'd like to pay you back for saving me. It's not too much, but I hope you'll take it. Any rubies? Hmm. Oh, Link, the person I mistook you for, he's a brave swordsman from Southern Village. He's been a light to us all, but right now he's off fighting monsters. It's rare to see a young person with that sort of drive to help others. Uh. I hope he's doing well, wherever he might be. If you run in the swordsman wearing a hood and green tunic, can you pass him a message? His friends in Southern Village will be there for him when he comes back. Cool. Guarantee I'll forget that. We're gonna spin right around and see what we can find. 
Ooh, this field is so big. At least we finished putting up the one imposters to the west, but nobody seems dull yet. First we were ordered to save her, and now we're ordered to capture her. It doesn't really seem right. We're treating her like some sort of villain. I mean, it's weird to me too, but orders are orders. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Mm. Anyway, we learned nothing out east in the seaside village. We'll patrol here now, I guess. Hi. You think this is a game? Hi. Hello there, Traveler. You always know if you spot Zelda, it's just a fire. You can find anything east of Tito Villa, it's from here. I could draw the nectar. I didn't find anything east. Well, we're gonna go to the east. Looking for money. Art, Spain. There's another thing right here. We'll do that. Wavepoint wave has been recorded. You now warp here using the map. It is here. Ooh, it's a great fairy show. Yes, I don't know who you are or where you're from. You're a diamond in the rough. Mm -hmm. And with a bit of polish, we could be a diamond with the stuff. Mm -hmm. but what's the approach to your take, <laughs> huh? I got it. What if I increase the number of accessories you can <laughs> Be bold and daring. Are you ready to begin your venture with style? Make me more style. Let's see what we can get. Hee <gasps> hee. How can I refuse the most heartfelt wish to be more stylish? <laughs> insult you by doing it for free, of course. Mm -hmm. The trouble of the service? With resources, you're always waiting for the bill, huh? I don't believe in waiting, so I collect my fees in advance. Uh, First, a hundred rubies. Alright. How do I adore rubies? Alright, now I promise I'll enhance your style. Your accessory limit has been erased by one. You now wear more accessories than ever before. Now go into the world and show off your accessory mm. success. Fuck you. <laughs> Quit looking for uh, 300. We don't have enough. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. We'll be back. I'm gonna try to get 300 rupees. So, we're at Lake Leia. That's a great ruby. That's where we just were. So we just walked all the way around over here. Looks like this is probably the castle. That looks like a ranch. That looks like a village. I think this is going towards where they were saying the Gordo were. But we may end up heading that way. I don't know. We'll see where we get to on the next episode. It's a good point to call it an episode. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe. 
share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys next time. Today, peace, and God bless.